The purpose of this video is to briefly explain what below ground moisture probes do and how they could be used in the Western Australian wheat belt. The Liebe Group purchased nine probes in 2010 for a research trial. The probes we used are called EnviroPro probes and are made by Centex. They are 1.2 metres long and have sensors for soil moisture, temperature and soil conductivity at 10 centimetre intervals. The probes are buried below the ground and can be seeded over. Probes similar to these are also being used by farmers and research groups across the state. The probes convey information to a box-like data logger via a cord which is also buried below the reach of the seeding tines. The data logger, seen here on the poles in the background, then uses mobile phone coverage to send information to a computer. Readings are taken every 15 minutes. You can then view the information on the internet. Setting up probes and interpreting the results is not always easy and support will be needed. Grant Thompson from Crop Circle Consulting in Geraldton has been using the probes with his clients for some years and is available to help growers. We asked him about the use of moisture probes. I couldn't encourage growers enough to get into this technology. It's being able to quantify what is available, not just what falls from the sky. I mean, the, the soil profile is full of water and the probes are telling us there's a lot of plant available water there to burn up. I think we'll increase our plant density a bit, increase our starter nitrogen fertilisers a bit more, push crops harder. If it's bone dry, well, we might leave the starter flex in or, you know, just leave that out, um, reduce plant density to ration water out a bit more. Once the soil moisture information is in a central computer server, it can be accessed via the internet. This is one way the information is presented. Each different coloured line is the moisture reading from a sensor at different depths over the past 30 days. For example, they are at 30, 50 and 70 centimetres. Obviously you can't deep rip over the top of a probe but you can still seed normally over it. Um, definitely need to put the probe in the right position so that it's not on a tram line or something like that where its plant growth is going to be affected. And you just don't put it out in the middle of a paddock somewhere where the boom spray is always going to hit it. The probes can only measure moisture in a 10 centimetre radius around the probes. This is not much when you consider the size of your paddock. The number of plants growing around that probe will impact the amount of water that is used and thus measured. I guess the one thing I'd be mindful of next time is just uh, keeping a really close eye on water infiltration rates um, because if the soil probe isn't installed properly then water can slide down the side of the the probe if the hole isn't sealed properly. In 2012, I made the mistake of worrying too much about damaging the cords coming out of the probes. We didn't see directly over the probes. This meant we didn't have any plants within a 10 centimetre radius of our probe and thus could not measure soil moisture during the year.